Hi, welcome to Rahi's Reddit Responses, where I, Dr. Rahi Victory, a fertility specialist, look at things on Reddit that people have written and comment. So today we've got a post from Where in the World 2 that said, cycle day two after my first egg retrieval, and wow, I was not prepared for how the first period post egg retrieval is. Heaviest, crampiest period I've ever had. Positive thoughts, it gets better soon. So the reason you're having such a terrible period is because when you've had an egg retrieval, the stimulation process leads to your estrogen levels getting really high. That's because your eggs are each producing estrogen and that estrogen has an effect all throughout your body, including on the lining of your uterus. What's happening in your uterus? Your lining's getting really thick. And so when you go to have a period, which is gonna happen naturally because you're not pregnant immediately after the egg retrieval, you're gonna end up having a lot more lining trying to shed because you developed a much thicker lining during the stimulation process. So as that's all trying to shed, it's a lot more crampy, it's a lot heavier, and it can be quite uncomfortable. Are there things you can do to quell that? Well, ibuprofen leading up to the period will help or any kind of a uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug can be beneficial as well. You can take a uh, massage, a heating pad, um, their acupuncture sometimes can assist as well, but essentially you may end up needing some pain meds like Tylenol uh, to help as well. And any of those things are totally reasonable and may cut down somewhat on the pain, although overall it is gonna be a pretty heavy period and sometimes accidents can occur, so be prepared to maybe limit at least to some extent your social life during those few days around the first period. I hope you find that explanation helpful. Let us know if there's more things you wanna know about and we're always ready to answer.